The five consecutive hairpins on Mount Akina are an infamous spot where races are often decided in the initial D anime. But what if I told you we were all wrong about what these hairpins actually look like? And what if I told you the real layout was far more comical? And what if I told you that the sponsor for today's video is Raid Shadow? Initial D is one of my favorite anime of all time. For anyone who might not be familiar, the anime follows a guy named Takami Fujiwara who delivers tofu for his dad. Oh yeah, he was uh, also forced to do this since he was like 12 years old. So he's basically a driving prodigy. The show highlights Takami's growth from someone who sees driving as just a way to get from A to B, and to somebody who sees driving as an expression of themselves. Also, cars get wings sometimes? Takami's home turf is on Mount Akina, which is based on the real-life Mount Haruna, which can be found in the Gunma Prefecture of Japan. So before I expose this massive lie in the initial D anime, we have to understand what the real-life track is supposed to look like first. So let's just zoom in here, and oh no, there's only four consecutive hairpins. <laughs> That's awkward. The layout shown here is roughly 500 meters of road and about 300 meters is spent on the straights. The hairpins have an estimated average radius of 16 meters and the road width opens from six meters on the straight to about 8.5 meters in the corners. So let's keep that all in mind as we head back to the world of Sugoi Desune. I'm gonna use episode 10 as a baseline for this analysis and the reason for that is, well, because it's it's in the name. It's literally called the five consecutive hairpins. For me to be able to show you what the corners actually look like, we're gonna have to define the drifts that Takumi performs in the anime. To be able to copy his drift technique, we could do a few different things like copy his drift angle or his amount of steering input. And well, I'm just gonna use steering input. Luckily for us, in these corners in this episode, Takumi holds his wheel most of the time at roughly 90 degrees in counter steer. This wheel in real life costs literally $2,000, I shit you not. Sick. Now we know that Takumi is hitting a fat four wheel drift with roughly 90 degrees of counter steer. But we're gonna have to perform this actual drift if we wanna figure out the arc that Takumi is traveling along. And to perform a drift like this, we must become. All right, now that I've delivered tofu for a decade, I'll try recreating the drift in my own 86 in Assetto Corsa. Attempt after attempt, I tried to hold a drift long enough that it could be measured accurately. And just when I was starting to get bored, I did it. Coming in at a linear speed of 65 kilometers per hour, the drift traveled roughly in a diameter of 19 truenos. Now all that's left is determining how long each individual drift lasts in each of the hairpins. For the first hairpin, the cars turn in around the 416 mark and exit the quarter at the 454 mark, meaning the cars are cornering for roughly 38 seconds. It's important to note that there's no freeze frame moments during this corner, and all internal monologues are seemingly performed in real time, unlike this one. The next hairpin starts at 524, and this frame here shows counter steer happening before the cars actually turn in, so we're gonna use that. They straighten out at 549, so this means that the drift in corner two lasts about 25 seconds. The third corner in this episode is kind of a mess. Mostly because Takumi passes Takashi in this corner and therefore we don't have any data on the fourth hairpin. Also, also because, because Takumi, Takumi is, is a cheating, cheating fuck. The gutter section that he uses to pass here doesn't seem to exist in real life, so I'm just going to pretend that he passes on the outside. But even with this assumption, things are still complicated. The 8.6 is shown starting its drift around 6.54. However, three seconds later, Takashi shits his pants. 6.57 to 7.17 is spent in the hyperbolic time chamber so we can't count this time. But from 717 to the point where all modern JDM enthusiasts start crying, we get another 40 seconds, putting this corner at a total of 43 seconds. And yeah, they kind of just don't show the next hairpin, so yeah, we only have three hairpins now. But enough nitpicking, because now we have all the information required to draw out our new track. Boy, am I excited to show you this. <laughs> we have gone from this all the way to this. 
we've gone from 500 meters of road length to 2,214 meters. The distance traveled in corner one is now 686 meters and revolves around the circle 1.37 times. In corner two, they travel 451.5 meters for 0.9 revolutions of a circle. And corner three is a whopping 776.6 meters, revolving around the corner more than one and a half times. But yeah, this is the biggest lie in Initial D, I guess. This is what Mount Akina actually looks like, boys. All I can think about is the Iro Hazaka jump being performed on this track. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the process of finding out what this track was supposed to look like. Um, if you'd like to see another they did the math style video for a different anime, let me know, I guess. <laughs> but that's all I've got for today, so thanks for watching. Peace.